Finally, the legendary debate coach, eight decades at Texas Southern University, teaching until the end, and tonight his students determined to make him proud. Dr. Thomas Freeman was born on June 27, 1919, in Richmond, Virginia. 1949, when I came, 60s, the 70s, the 80s. He was TSU's debate coach, and he was a legend. His students winning thousands of competitions over the years. Dr. Freeman remembering the moment Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. approached him at a dinner. He stuck out his hand and said, Dr. Freeman, you don't remember me, but I remember you. You taught me. Dr. Freeman was just days from turning 101. He was still shaping minds. We spent time with the debate team. I started at Texas Southern with Docs. It's just a positive, beautiful experience that I'll never forget. Prince Ebay, the debate team president, and there's Dominique Montgomery. You're talking about a man that came to work every day, even at 100. He didn't miss a day. Um, even when we weren't there, he was still at work. And every student remembers their first interaction with Dr. Freeman. He would point to the piles of prose of poetry in his office, telling the students to select something and then to read it. It was about more than debating. It was presentation, how to carry yourself, how to be heard. This was your first time interacting with mm -hmm. Dr. Freeman. Yes. He does yes. that with every single one of us. Angelica Alonqua. You're really nervous because you've never done this before. I went in there like, I want to debate because I want to be a lawyer. And he'll say, louder. And he would make sure to correct you and say, it's often. <laughs> he would make sure don't say it wrong. So yeah, um, I'll never say it that way again. <laughs> And they all told me they now know what he would expect in this time. Alexandria Barnabé. It's a heavy time in America. Mm. And, and what would Dr. Freeman want from each of you in this moment? <laughs> I think that Dr. Freeman, because he's always encouraged us to not only be articulate, but vocalize our plight in a way in which we can have the best outcome for ourselves. Meaning that he's always pushed, always pushed us to do our best. It's in our motto. We all know what we do, we do well. What we don't do well, we don't do at all. <laughs> the faces that you see, black, white, Latino, from every race, every background, every story, part of these protests, do you sense it's a turning point? I absolutely do. What's your message to the country right now? That there's always hope. That you can always be better. That you don't have to settle. I think the message would be, man, there's power in your voice. So you should definitely use it. Definitely. Well, I would say to your debate team, keep winning. <laughs> we'll try. Thank you. We'll we'll try. Winning. <laughs> too. Keep winning. Bowing to carry the torch. It's about more than winning, he would say. And they have already made Dr. Freeman proud. Thank you for watching here tonight. I'm David Muir from all of us here at ABC News. Have a good evening. Good night. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.